So Disney's live action Snow White is in the news today uh, for a couple of reasons. One, well, <laughs> oh, oh, this movie's not going to make any money when it comes out next March. Uh, the budget for it reportedly is somewhere around a half a billion dollars. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is Rachel Zegler just doesn't know when to keep quiet. If I was Disney, I would tell her, do not talk to anyone. Just don't talk about this movie with anybody. Please don't keep your mouth shut. We're already going to have a, a hard enough time making our money back on this movie. But you just keep piping up and you're making things worse. But before I get into that. If you like what I'm doing here with the channel, you like the things that I'm covering, everything from pop culture to entertainment to what's going on in Hollywood, uh, a little bit of sports. I try to, I try to, uh, to provide a wide variety of things um, when it comes to the videos I make and the content that I put out there. And if you like what I'm doing, um, the best way you can support me and the channel, and it's free, just uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. And uh, before you leave, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. So with that out of the way, on with the video. So Rachel Zegler. Snow White. Remake. Comes out next March. This is from thatparkplace.com. The budget for Disney's live action Snow White starring Rachel Zegler reportedly exploded to over a half a billion, that's with a B, dollars. Now, the first line of the article just reiterates the title, so I'm not going to get into that. But here we go in a recent video upload of which this author appeared, that would be WDW Pro. If you haven't checked out his content, go check him out over on YouTube. Um, and thatparkplace.com, by the way, Excellent resource for all things pop culture. Uh, the folks over there, the guys over there do an excellent job covering things. So, highly recommend. I am told there have been three reshoots of this film and that Disney is now still working to fix the thing. That's not good. This movie's supposed to be out, let's see, it's October now. So you got October, November, December, January, February. This movie's supposed to be out in six months. And they gotta fix it still? That's not good. He added, and in particular, there are two areas that Disney's working to resolve before its release in March, which is just, like I said, six months away. Uh, two major problems Disney's trying to fix. Well, one's the dwarfs. They've been roundly mocked, and they have been mocked at the level of the original Sonic the Hedgehog model in, in that film. Yeah, the original Sonic was not very good. Not very good at all. When they retooled Sonic, they made him look more they made him look better, made him look more like the cart the actual video game. So um with this one, they're not gonna have that much time to do any everything that needs to be done, and they have seven models that need to be adjusted. Yeah, seven models, seven dwarfs. There you go. And the other thing is apparently they're going to try to adjust the color palette, the atmospherics of the movie to make it brighter and more lighthearted and make it more child friendly. It was deemed a little too dark. Yeah, if you watch that trailer, it, it was pretty dark. Just going off of my memory here. Now, the big story about all this is that Disney apparently is trying to get this movie ready to go on the cheap. And the reason that it might be done on the cheap is because they've already done three reshoots. Yeah, those reshoots cost money. Those reshoots cost money on top of what was originally budgeted to do the movie to begin with. We know that this film had a budget that was somewhere around $300 million. They have overshot that significantly, according to my source, and this film is now heading towards The Force Awakens and Rise of the Palpatine territory. Kind of budget. 
So in other words, it's nearing that half billion dollar mark, which is just completely insane that this movie, when it's all said and done, is going to be a half billion dollars for the budget. This rumor has some significant validity to it, given Caroline Reed over at Forbes reported that Disney's production company in the United Kingdom working on Snow White had already spent $209 million over three years as of July 2022. It's been over two years since the report, and we know of at least one confirmed reshoot from Gal Gadot. She posted a photo of an actor's chair to her Instagram stories in June of 2024, writing, Feels good to be back. So that's the re that's, that's the reason why this movie is going to cost so much is because of the reshoots and having to remodel the dwarves, which they could have avoided if they would have hired re real little people to play the dwarves instead of making them CGI. But those people that didn't get those jobs can thank Peter Dinklage for that. Now, here's the second part. Where I was saying that Rachel Ziegler should zip it. Somebody at Disney needs to tell her to zip it and not talk anymore. Disney's live-action Snow White star Rachel Ziegler claims her criticisms of animated original were intentionally misinterpreted. What? I've watched women get torn down all my life. Intentionally misinterpreted. Well, let's go back, shall we? Um, this was at D23 back in 2022. Katie Kraus from Extra was interviewing her. And she said, I know you told me before that your version of Snow White is different and it's more of a 2022 version of Snow White. What did you mean by that? And Rachel Zegler went on to explain that the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. There's a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. Weird. Weird. So we didn't do that this time. Okay. We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie. Andrew Burnap. Great dude. It's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be. But it's really not about a love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2020, now 2025. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut out. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. So... How is that misinterpreted? I mean, I, I, she said that they're doing a new version of Snow White. They're doing a reimagining of Snow White. How is that misinterpreted? Can you, can you answer that one for us, Rachel? Providing even more information as to her adaptations direction during an August 2023 with interview with Variety. She further detailed, that would be one Rachel Zegler. The reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago, and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power and what a woman is fit for in the world. And so when we came to reimagining the actual role of Snow White, it became about the fairest of them all, meaning who is the most just and who can become a fantastic leader. Yay! I'm sure that's going to draw a lot of people to want to see this movie. An overbearing girl boss, Snow White. And the reality is, you know, Snow White has to learn a lot of lessons about coming into her own power before she can come into the power over a kingdom, she added. Yeah, that's, that's not Snow White. Sorry. And while many walked away from taking these interviews, having understandably taken her words as direct critiques of the original Snow White story, entire identity, Ziegler claims that this read could not be further from the truth. 
Okay, Rachel, would you like to clarify that? Reflecting on the discourse during a recent interview with Variety, Samo, uh, Selom, Hailu, and uh, Katsi Stefan. Hope I didn't butcher those names. Sorry if I did. Zegler recalled, in all honesty, it made me sad that it was taken in such a way because I believe that women can do anything, but I also believe that they can do everything. Emphasis hers. I would never want to box someone in and say, if you want love, then you can't work. Um, I got news for you, Rachel. You can do both. Just saying. If you want to work, then you can't have a family. Um, again, you can do both. It's not true. It's never been true. It could be very upsetting when things get taken out of context or jokes don't land. The love story is very integral. A lot of people wrote that we weren't doing that storyline anymore. We were always doing that. It just wasn't what we were talking about on that day. Huh? Rachel, your own words. Really not about the love story at all. Those are your words, Rachel. So now you're back to doing the love story. Now you're back to following the source material. Because your words before said you weren't. Now you are. So which is it? To this end, the actress then opined that while she wasn't a fan of the backlash, she felt that it was part and parcel of being a woman in a public facing role and described by Hailu and Steven. Ziegler's not surprised by what she sees as people's willful misunderstanding of her comments. It's par for the course for an outspoken young woman in the public eye. <laughs> Rachel, nobody misunderstood your comments. We understood your comments. We knew exactly what you were saying. But now it's two years later and your tone's changed. I've watched women get torn down my whole life, my whole career. We'll watch it in the election that's coming up. We're going to witness that for a long time, I fear. Sometimes it can feel like we're going back. It certainly felt that way when that was happening. Going back to what? One final comment on the matter, the Shazam Fear of the Gods actress said that despite the constant stream of critiques, she has no intention of truly leaving social media. I don't like to give them the satisfaction of knowing that they hurt me in the moment. You give them a lot of power by taking a social media break. Now, not surprisingly, this isn't the first time that Zegler has tried to clarify or rather backpedal her past comments. Speaking to fellow Disney actress Halle Berry for Variety's Actors on Actors interview series, Zegler likewise discussed the backlash to her comments. The cartoon is so beloved, it was the first feature-length cartoon movie. Yeah, it's, it's basically put Disney on the map. It won honorary Oscars and all these amazing things that happened for that film are the reason that you, you and I get to sit here today because it made Disney what it is. Obviously, that's come with a lot of pressure and I've, that I've put on myself, much like Hunger Games. There's a very dedicated group of people who love Disney cartoons. I'm one of them. I love everything that the Disney Co. has put out the past 100 years. That still doesn't address your comments that you made. Back in 2022, just say it. So there you have it. The Snow White news. First Snow White news I've done in a few weeks. Um, so what do you guys think out there? First of all, billion dollar budget. Yikes. That doesn't, that doesn't even take into account marketing. And then Rachel Zegler. Um, she just can't help herself. She just can't keep her mouth shut.
So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. It's the best way you can support, help support the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I put videos out, out on, almost on a daily basis for the most part. Unless I'm, you know, got things going on on the weekends or I'm on a little trip like this weekend. Um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys.